TQS Bonnets, TT. QS Bonnets, the Bonnets of Home Magic, all on in And now, introducing a new arrivals available in all ranges and sizes, only at TQFBooth.com. Get yours at www.tqfbooth.com. I'm guessing this is a therapy session too. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, I am super excited to be honest. I'm excited to hear everyone's opinion. And hopefully this will end up in a good mood. Better, I feel like first uh, mood, yeah. Yeah, but no, best in the first session. Yeah, yeah. First session was like case. First but, session is almost the worst. Yeah. Mm. First time. So I don't think it's the worst. First session is like when everyone um, spills anything yeah. and everything. And then the mistakes. So oh, yeah. speak on top of each other. Yeah. One That's one we, after the other. One thing we need to you know, focus focus on is not speaking on top of each other. Yeah. Because it boils my blood as well. So yeah. Yeah. we need to work. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think the uh, first one was a good experience. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It yeah. just opens a lot of doors. So yeah. That's what in the first session we learn not to speak on top of each other mm-hmm. and also allow other people to speak. For example, on the last session was mainly me, Aliyah, Vanessa, Mom and Dad spoke. Let's allow other people to speak, for yeah. example, Sylvia. Yeah. yeah. I really. spoke a lot also. And when you said allow other people to speak, it's not, not us not allowing them to speak, it's them not speaking. No, no, so, so they, they should like, contribute. So no, I contributed yeah. a lot. It's not a contribution, like contribution that makes sense. Don't contribute. True. Most of so it doesn't make sense. For example, like when Amy talks, I feel like they're empowering. Or like sometimes we show. They also tell us me. So You're right. So yeah. We are right. Let everyone to speak, like turns, takes turns. Yeah, Most it? especially going to have a phone daddy. Well, not too. Where did we go? Oh, we actually move on. We all need to agree if we're ready. Because I. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's like. Share the percentage. So how ready are we? I am hundred percent. A hundred and ten percent. So not both three or less. Yeah, I'm hundred and ten percent. I'm hundred percent ready. Ninety percent ready. For me, I'm ready. How many percent? It, it can be hundred. It can be fifty. Definitely, I'm ready. Just, just, that just yeah, that. but that doesn't specify how. <laughs> <you know. laughs> that doesn't make sense. Okay, I'm ready. Hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. I am hundred percent ready for this session. Um, a hundred percent. I have to keep this for myself. No, you have to sing. No. Well, this is no, you, you, you have to sing. Yeah, 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 you have to be open. It's no, That's why no, I, don't I don't know. Open. No, I don't know how many percent. No, you just said, but you attack, you attack me. No, I didn't say anything. No, I didn't say but that's therapy, mom. Therapy is when we open up. Hundred percent ready. Okay, so before we actually move on to prayer, Michelle, do you want to share why you're? Not your percentage doesn't align with our percentage. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we just got some trauma from the last session. That's really like, what like, is oh, we, we said we're gonna like improve, so. I'm not ready to go for this stage again. I feel like if you're not ready, you shouldn't be here. I know, you know, what happened last time? <laughs> real. I feel like I feel like if, if you're, you're not ready, ready, you shouldn't be here. You shouldn't no. put yourself I'm, out there I'm if good. you're not ready. Okay, you always it's, have to come to whatever I say. I feel like this session for it's people that are ready and not ready, so we're all together as a family. So the issue. Not really. I mean, no, if if you're not ready, you're, you're not, not ready. gonna fully open up. Yeah. Well, I just yeah. have yeah. you guys yeah. not ready. Just the time like, to open up. Uh, I'm trying. Force, she's ready. Know? That's why she's here. That's well, what I'm saying, yeah, it's not by force, so she she doesn't have to be here by force. Well I think I think ninety percent is close to hundred. Yeah. yeah, it's close to hundred. If it was fifty so. then Yeah. So you're you're ready. So you you I'm ready for ninety percent. Yeah, that's just that ten percent. I'm not like it's not bad. Yeah. Well so you are ready. Why Michelle, why are you ninety percent? When I said I don't yeah, I'm gonna put it to my side, everyone was saying, Mom, you have to say Michelle, why is why is it ninety percent? Mom, I think mom is asking that question because the answer doesn't make sense. You are ready. Yeah. 90% is Okay, real. I'm ready. I just yeah. like, how no, you guys are smiling. It's, it's not by frost. 90% is a good mark. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Just mom no, said that. Because she said she wasn't ready. That's why I said you don't have to be here if you're not ready. Aliyah, yeah, yeah, please, please, when I'm talking, let me let me finish first, okay? Yeah, what did you want to say? I thought you were done. <laughs> Father God, we thank you for eternalness. We thank you for your glory, your power. Your rule in our life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father God, we gather together, Lord, not for ourselves, but your presence is here. We 
you take control, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, whatsoever, O oh Lord, we are going to say at this gadget, O oh Lord. Father, may you control us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. And let your way be done in this family. Amen. And let us know you in the power of your resurrection. Let your glory rest upon us, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Every misunderstanding we can say it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We need peace and joy and love. Yes. The joy that flow like a river in our heart, moving inside our bones <laughs> to know the glory and the power of God Almighty. Is it? Preach, preach. We need wisdom, yeah. knowledge of God. And somebody shout to be Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's be like, let's just stand out. I don't get it for nothing. So I'll be all scared to start. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can I push it all? Um, states, any Okay. I wanna I wanna go first. Mm -hmm. I think we need to cut argument off. Yeah. In order to do that, keep your opinions to yourself. Yeah. Keep irrelevant opinions yeah. to yourself. I feel like sometimes we speak all the ir irrelevant opinions, which then even though it's not big, we still tend to hurt other people's feeling. Mm -hmm. And then misunderstanding occurs and then arguments just starts rising I feel like the big issue is for example let's say we argue for over small thing yeah for example I don't know we argue for a charger such a small thing but at the end when we go with the argument it's not even about the charger anymore it's about something else yes you see I'd rather argue it's like a small it's like it's like it's like so can you just be patient and like yeah. Yeah. So wait. Uh, was done. Anyway, it's like a snowball. Like it gets smaller, smaller, bigger, gradually bigger bigger, 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 bigger. That's the issue. You see, with me, I would rather argue over smaller things than bigger things. Because at like, smaller things, you can like resolve it easier. But if it was to be like bigger things, but we don't resolve it easier. I don't think. No, I think. I, I, I well, we've never had like a bigger argument, so we, we wouldn't really know. That's so why it's I better. Would, yeah, I would prefer a bigger argument because there's a reason to argue, and it's a good argument. I and like, it's not every day, but smaller arguments, it's more, it occur, occurs more. And you said that we rarely argue of big things. things. So why do you want to yeah. so argue over small things? No, I said I'd rather argue over smaller things. No, I'd rather not argue. argue. I know, but I'm just saying, I'd rather, in general, I'd rather argue over smaller things. Can I sometimes we lack respect, for example, we don't tend to be please in front of a sentence. So, we can say please to outsiders such as friends or people that, like externals, individual, but we struggle to say please. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't say I struggle to say please because I feel like the charger is no yours, it's for everyone. No, I'm yeah, saying in general. Exactly. No, I'm not. I'm not specifically okay. talking yeah. about charger. Just in general. Maybe this way, like pride. Yeah, and then that pride. You said pride, but that doesn't make sense because why? Okay, okay I'm gonna drop name Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie never says please. Like when when she asks me for stuff, she's like, "But I get this," but she doesn't say please. But then if you see Stephanie like outside the family, she's very respectful towards other people. Yeah. Please, For example, please. friends, she would be like, "Can you please?" Or "Thank you so much." So me and Stephanie were going out. There was this one time when me and Stephanie went out, and someone held the door for Stephanie. She was like, "Thank you so much." <laughs> In my head, I was like, <laughs> <lying. laughs> Open the door, I said, Wait, thank you so much. Yeah, you did say, 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 because <laughs> yes, my self understands me more. Like, yeah, I know it's. <laughs> I, I have 
an inner monologue. Yeah. You know, what? Exactly. apparently some people don't have Stop that Stop interrupting when you need some piece of Yeah, so I was like, well, Stephanie never says thank you so much. She doesn't even say thank you to me. Say you really say such a You really say thank you. You know. It's true. I agree you as know. well. Yeah. As Stephanie's sister, I agree. I, I think it's it's you. gone yeah. it's gone far to the point where she just takes your stuff without even asking. Yeah. Yes. She thinks that she thinks that she has the right to take it. When like and then when things go missing, like dad spoke about the charger, when things go missing, it's harder to find because you didn't say, Can I please borrow this? Thank you or whatever. So then I don't know who took my stuff. Then I, yeah. I have to go in the same around as well. And then when you go there, I don't think it's not. You do a cup of fish or the level one yeah, after the other. And then when like you investigate, goodness. you ask people and everyone's like, No, but the person that is mainly like the person that has it denies it as well and that's what creates an argument and that's arguable because yeah yeah it's mine yeah just an example of what Vanessa just said that when Stephanie said thank you so much it's, not very much <laughs> it's a good thing it's not why right. are you saying that uh, I never I, no, I never said that that means no. that means you, you don't even say thank you yeah no I think, that's just, I'm me. laughing because it's racist line as a senior, why would as a senior, I lie can, can, can I finish please as a senior, that's guys, that's speaking. As a senior daughter or a senior daughter in the family, why don't you show a good example in the West? You know what I said? Thank you so much. You said, at least you have to be proud of yourself. Our finance are saying that word today. You said, that is, yeah, I'm going to say that you, you, you are not doing it before. You know? You are not doing it before, but somebody No, only I think you don't understand what Vanessa said. Vanessa said that Stephanie does it outside, but her own. She doesn't say, please, can I have this? She's not politely. Outside, she's very politely. Yeah, but it's said that uh, the day she opened the door for Stephanie, is it? No, outside that. Yeah, someone else. Oh, someone you have to else. listen. Yeah, you are you here. Okay. <laughs> I remember when Stephanie asked me to go and get something for her, and I said, huh? And I said, I won't, get, I won't give it to you until you say please. Yeah. Stephanie, Stephanie didn't want to say anything. She yeah, say that's why I say it's true. And then she, got up, she got up and did it on her own. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, that that's lot. pride. I, I, actually, one thing I, I want but to... But it doesn't make sense. No, can I say why something? is it that you don't see her pride outside? Then you respect yeah. her outside that your whole family. Charity begins at home. Yeah. You have to show example for your own family before outside that. You know what I mean? It's, it could be different factors. Probably you have to personalize do you think? Oh. Do you think um, that kind of like brings back to why? Um, I mean, I don't know what you're doing, but it's the worst. Stephanie, you don't say no, so many. Bring up examples, please. I'm like, I'm, I'm all ears. Okay, I think when it's a bit confused, but let me hop up to that refresh your memory. I all and some of the people in this room. You didn't even answer my question. Let me carry on. I think um, so. Basically, Vanessa thinks. So I always say like, please, thank you, something that benefits me. For example, I say we shake and I get water because it's something for me. But I don't say thank you, please, that it's benefit, like it's beneficial for me and for the other person. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Well, it makes you, no sense. It makes no sense. You basically saying that external individuals benefit you, but yeah, no, I family family say that because you never because say yeah. anything. Because yeah, because actually, so, you're saying we're fresh outside. memory. Everyone's outside. against it. I do you like. I'm doing talk with strangers. Stephanie. I, is a, I'm not talking about strangers. External don't mean strangers. Your friend. Actually, uh, Stephanie, I know you for one thing. This is one thing I always tell you not to do. Uh please. it's like <laughs> See, I mean, no, I'm just, I'm talking, because please. that's talking. And yeah, that's what I want to talk. Uh, 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 actually the word you, you always use is uh can you <laughs> do it for me? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Use the command I think, word. I think you'll say no, no, no. that because they won't really... Will... You, no, you use the command... Excuse me. You use the command word to send message to anybody. Mm-hmm. You, you guys understand that command word? Yeah, but... You don't, you don't, you don't even use please. I think... You know what command use, word Excuse is. me. That is speaking. Can, you only oh say... God. You only use the command word. Do it. <laughs> Let's just give it to me. <laughs> that is what always do, which is very, very bad. <laughs> that is a magic word. Yes. And that no, she, goes, she says, give it to me, she raises her eyebrows. Yeah. Just to make it look... If then you, you say, know. nah. You remember? Oh, yeah. Nah. I'll remember. <laughs> nah, do it now. Give yeah. me now. Okay, I'll say, do it now. Give it to me now. My command word is, mom told me to do it. Because, but then huh? you don't listen Yeah, but the thing no. is that outside, say, you wouldn't say that to people. If I say, uh, Michelle... 
give the water for me. Michelle would never do this. Yeah, now she said, Michelle. Please. Yeah, but you yeah, yeah, like, I'm the magic boy. I'm the bro. Let's be honest, no. Michelle, I'll be inside my room. No, I'll be hearing Michelle say, "Until you put please, if now, we'll not no, do it." No, okay. I don't know. Okay. Why should I lie? For example, Michelle you don't have a shower. Forget like my cream or towel. Siva is the worst. Really? That's how they even ask her. Yeah, she like, should. Like, see, I give her the towel. She doesn't even. She doesn't even like. She doesn't even like think See, like, that's, that's... Wait, nice. Stephanie, you, you never ask me for nothing but cocaine. See, again, okay, exactly. Lying. I never ask for... Michel, please, anyway. And for, for example, like other people when I ask, <laughs> I went, for my command word is, mom and dad said, and they'll do it. Mom and dad said, bring yeah. a towel for me. Yeah, that's no, so not true. bring you a towel for me. That's an example. Don't that. change my words. What they are saying now is you have to put any word you say. Please. There's no body in yourself. Guys, just the way I'm mommy does. Just the way mommy does. So yeah. that is so what like for example if you pour a sweet cream, and it's not because I'm more people have to be on it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That yeah. is uh, well, I think that's what I do as well. I say I, I say please, right. please so whenever I ask yes. yes. Wait, Wait, that's no, 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 say please. That's how we know Stephanie's lying. I say please two times in one sentence. Well, Wait, that's when you told me to bring me, you yeah, can, I go, oh, please, please, yeah. Yeah. please, please, yeah. yeah. Stephanie's. I that's bet. how we know no, wait, Stephanie's I not I telling the truth. I disagree with you guys. Stephanie does say please to Ash and Sasha. She goes, Sasha, can you go bring apple for me, please? That's what she says. Okay. That's so she does have minimum expectation. Not to us. Like, I she beg, okay. I beg them to do it. So I'm like, please, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll even bribe them. Like, I am okay. Because they Okay. I okay, I should not back Stephanie up. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. I bribe, I bribe them. I'm like, please do this, this, this. I'll get you this, 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 and they'll do it. Like, you don't have to put mom and dad into it. Okay, say they don't want to do it. Bribery works. Yeah, but the thing is that sometimes Stephanie bribes others, but she doesn't like. She never gives. Yeah, she. One time, yeah, it was close to my birthday, right? So I literally texted Stephanie on WhatsApp, right? I showed her the picture and everything. I really, I really wanted this coat. And then she was downstairs. I was talking about the coat, and Stephanie was like, "If you give me one biscuit, I will, give, <laughs> I will give you the coat, guys." I remember this, and she never got it from me until today. You fell into the trap. But like, <laughs> this doesn't really. I, I don't think that's got nothing to do with saying. Like, you saw this. Earlier, was talking about bribe. I said, oh, bribe. You want to get them to do stuff? Because you know, Stephanie said I have to say. Mom and dad said do this. You don't have to it involve mom and okay. dad. You can just bribe them uh -huh. and they'll do it. Maybe, okay, maybe but maybe she's she doing the reason why she say mom and dad. People don't listen to her. Yeah, be because like, she doesn't say thank you. Yeah. No, when she a, bribes, she doesn't do you go by Thank it. you, please, like, say because you don't want to do it. No, sure. because okay, like, when you try to bribe, you don't go don't by it. I bribe you. Why are you, I especially don't. Sylvia? See, you're saying you don't bribe me, so why are you saying especially Sylvia? <laughs> so, okay, okay, actually, now. So let's move to another yeah. person. It's not only Stephanie. Yeah, that's yeah, there. actually. We can't use the audio to talk yeah. about Stephanie. Another thing we need to improve, I feel like we shouldn't compare each other to people in general. So, like, we're like us. You always say to us, oh, you guys, you guys need to be perfect and do this, 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 that, because you guys are girls. But I feel like putting this label as you guys are girls versus boys can be a little bit damaging. Example. example i feel like times have changed and it's not like this standard that you and dad had so i feel like you kind of need to adjust to our society a little bit more so saying you're a girl so you should be able to cook and clean of course everybody i feel like it's not just because it's a girl because then everyone would think well i don't need to be able to cook and clean because girls are supposed to do it but then dad dad, dad you, clean. Clean. Come. you didn't even understand my point you're already aggressive. Not serious. Saying girls should be the ones, you, you're a girl, you need to be able to cook and clean because you're gonna have a husband one day. I don't want Erin to pick this up and be like, okay, girls need to be able to cook and clean because that's it. Cool. So then it's not a really valid point to say you're a girl, you need to be able to cook and, clean, cook and clean. I feel like it should be just, you need to be able to cook and clean because it's a good, val valuable skill and it's gonna help you in the future and thrive and survive and build a safe household. Not just because I'm a girl. It, I think it's irrelevant. I don't understand what I'm trying to say. But I do, my boy do clean. I didn't say Erin, mom, that's not the point. I didn't say Erin doesn't clean. I'm saying, you saying to us that we have to cook and clean because we are girls instead of 
you guys have to cook and clean because it's good for you. Mm -hmm. You're gonna like thrive in the future. Mm -hmm. you, you saying that, if Aaron grows up and keeps hearing that, he's gonna think, well, I don't have to worry about cooking and cleaning. I'm just gonna cook and clean because my mom tells me to cook, to cook and clean, but it's not my responsibility because my wife is gonna cook and clean. When it's not the thing, because everybody should be able to cook and, to cook and clean because that cooks and cleans. Okay, what are you trying to so say? So I'm saying you shouldn't really say, you guys are girls and you should cook and clean. I'm saying you should say, you guys should cook and clean, period. Okay, because it's gonna, sure that with yeah, because you're a girl, okay. you're a boy. I think it's a bit like but irrelevant. But the question is get that to cooking and cleaning. No, no, this no, generation. This generation. no, 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 like maybe not in this, like for, if, for example, if you go to like countries like um, in Africa or like, but Asia, we're not in Africa. I am talking. Like a continent like Africa, Asia, like they have like a traditional value where like the woman stay at home, looks like clean, and the man goes outside and work. So it's not this generation, it's that where you live. Yeah, it depends. It depends where no, you live. No, it's this generation. No, it's both actually. No, no, no it's it depends on this generation. No, it's both. It's, it's generation as well because back then, yeah, women's brand, like, yeah. Work. So it depends well, on the generation. Have, yeah, it depends on the person that yeah. you marry. Yeah, so overall, me being a girl has nothing to do with me. I should be able to cook and clean. It should be for my personal benefit. Okay. This is actually true because I think I do. I've seen boys in Sony hair and wigs. I've seen boys in Sony wigs. Oh. But for me, I see nothing bad in you saying you guys to learn how to cook and clean because you are gay. I don't uh, want the label I, because you're a girl. Uh, excuse me. Okay, don't want to hear the word because you're a girl. Uh, excuse me. Do you yeah. agree with that? Uh, yeah. I, I think I agree, to be honest, because I want it to be for like yeah, a general reasons. Yeah. Uh, because oh, I have oh, most, oh, honestly, sorry, I have most girls. That is the reason why I'm saying. And, but you have one boy, and saying that's not going to be good for Aaron. Then my Aaron, boy can't What if Aaron meets a girl who wants to, who wants both to cook and clean, but he's so used to with the mentality of girls just cook and clean? That's not going to be good, Aaron, especially in this generation. It's not. It's not, not. It's not generation. Generation remains the same. Generation never, generation never change. It's the people living in this world that change. That's it. This is change. Actually, mom, she's older person, right? Seeing that word because you don't know where you are going tomorrow. Maybe the mom is not even able to have time to clean the house because she's always busy. I mean, he's always busy no, going, to, going to work. Ambient. Excuse that's me, true. let me let me finish. No, you're always busy. Can I, can I finish? He's always busy going to work, do other things. As a woman, the, uh, a woman is the head. I mean, is the is the key of the house. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Cooking, cleaning belong to the woman. Why the man? I had to go outside and fresh seeds and come in. You know, uh, I follow the way of the Bible. Right from time, I read my Bible and it told me that the man had to go outside and fresh and look for. Let me look for. Let me use another good. Uh, let me use a, a, a quick example. Look for money to feed the family. Why the woman had to take care of the house? You get what I'm saying? Take care of the house. It means that you have to cook for your husband. You have to clean the house. A man that is go, go, I mean, doing all his labor for money to even coming home, do you expect him to go and clean the kitchen? Do you expect him to go and clean the house because because you uh, you 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 go, you go to go to work. Work. Listen, can I finish? Work it didn't concern women. They didn't force you to go and work. It just you want to work. You want to hit the same money. That the man is in it. That's no, what's no, happening. No, 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 no,
Okay, that, that that's your mom's using it. That because, no, okay. Because what about people? Okay, like, mom is what about using people? You because mom knows that you want to no, get a housewife. No, no. I yeah, was so when I was four years old, mom knew I was gonna be a housewife. Mom is so. How do you remember what happened? No, but I'm just saying. So I'm using it exactly. I don't know what is wrong with you guys. What you say after your education, everything you want to use it for your house. No, no, no. Right. That, that what they choose. That what they choose. I'm it's gonna only, be an ex housewife when I get married. I will be working. Yeah. I'm still studying towards my degree and will be working. But once I get married, that's where I'll become a housewife. But 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 I'm saying things no change. No, housewife or you'll be working as a business. What no, I will definitely have my own. Uh, part-time business, okay. but the thing no, is, you have to. You think it's specific? Yeah, but I'm saying be because all the, okay. like, the audience don't know. Like, okay, I have a question for that. Okay. Because what I mean by housewife is a full housewife. Mm -hmm. You understand? Okay, I have a question. Okay, for yeah, that. yeah, no, not full housewife. Sorry. Can I speak? So, uh, I'm not done because you interrupted me first. I did not. So mom said mom full full housewife, but no. Even though you have your uh, um part-time business or your full-time business, you're still gonna be busy. So you can't just be saying, oh, um. Uh, you expect a man to come back from home and clean the kitchen, but that's the same as female. No, dad. But yeah, like a yes, good man. So can I say women have to a do... good man will say, you, let's say for example, I don't know in the future if I want to work for any clients in the future, yeah. But good like us when we say, you have a choice to work, yes or no. Then yeah. I decide. Okay, yeah, I want to work. Yeah, if true. I say yeah, it's my fault because I'm putting like more extra. Yeah, job. that's so, true. But yeah. you no, should depend not. yes and yeah. on a guy. That's no, why you no. have your own side. Yeah, that's what you. Yeah, you should. You should never depend on someone else. That's why we get education and experience to work, and you never yeah. know. Like in later life, I actually want to work because I'm bored. But I'm saying like a good man would say, okay, Stephanie, do you want to work? But if you're, but you like, you know, it's like what's the role of the relationship? Like, your role is to provide for me, and my role is to be submissive and like meet the. the because uh, it's always good for you to be supporting your husband, not just. Being yeah, but mom, okay, so because I mean, so, can I say something? So, no, Stephanie, it's my turn. So you're saying, so that's saying. As a woman, you have your business, you take care of the kids, cook and clean, but the husband doesn't have to learn how to cook and clean. Because oh, he's gonna say that. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay so okay, so then it doesn't matter because it's my job to cook and clean and run my side listen. business while my husband goes outside and just does his job. That listen makes to, sense. Listen to me. That did say that. That did say that. No, that if you, if the man is so busy, you know what I'm saying? From Monday to Friday, maybe you only see the man, maybe left home in the morning at that time, uh, 6 or 7 o'clock, come back home around uh, uh, 8 o'clock. As a woman, if you want to work, you have to have an unlimited time. Unlimited time means you don't need to work from, uh, from getting 8 hours. But you, you, have to, you, have to, you have to get some, some hours, no? Uh, no some hours. No, you, you, have, you have to, if the eight months you have to work, work. It must say you don't need to work. Because you stay. No, but the actual, no, okay, the, that, that's excuse me, okay. excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, no, 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 excuse me. No. The, the actual, the work of a woman, I didn't say a woman had to do everything. If the man is extremely busy, you have to take up the house. Okay. You know so what I'm saying? That just, what if the two couples, they both do it nine to five? So who's gonna cook? Just because with that perspective, all girls have to yeah. Okay, I would, no, I would answer the question. Girls have to if, be if, extra. Excuse me, if both of them uh, were work the same hours, they come both the same time. Then both of them can do the job of our job. Yeah, so that's what it yeah, that's what I'm saying. They can do the our job. Right. But if the man is so busy, you know what I mean? More than, more than you. Maybe he come out late before you, then he come back home, do the rest things. So you yeah. Yeah, yeah, so the weekend is there. Weekend okay. is there. Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. What if the girl is very busy? Yeah. yeah. If the girl is very busy, they might have a less busy, they might have to do it. So okay, so then you agree with me. So you agree you know that me? you shouldn't say you're a girl. No, so you should cook and clean. No, you're a no, girl. no. This is a family. That is outside the family. I thought you got married. But at this moment, when Mama is saying that, She's preparing you guys to know your duty of the house. So, yeah, so you can prepare everyone as well. So you can prepare everyone. You're a boy, you should I, I, I don't have a, I have a host duty. As a boy, sometimes I'm not uh, able to come and play. Yeah, yeah, but that, that I mean, doesn't that's not, not what I'm saying. I'm saying. I feel like you're getting this wrong. I'm not wrong. That, and you should know no, I'm not saying you're wrong. I said you're getting me wrong. Because what I'm saying is, it's not a good thing to say because you're a girl, you should cook and clean. Because what if I'm a girl and 
I should cook and clean. But I also have, I also work as much as my partner works. So now who does the cooking yeah, and cleaning? Because yeah, everybody. Divide it. Divide it. Okay, so then it's right. As you shouldn't say, I'm a girl. You need to cook and clean. Because okay, I want to ask another question. What if you get married to someone who doesn't know how to cook? Exactly. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Now what's going to happen? <laughs> No, no, what did you get? If I marry a guy who doesn't know how to yeah, cook, it's not all men that's that not a good, cook. Yeah, but that's not a good thing. That's then not, he's gonna that's not some, Yeah. Huh? So what? He's, he's gonna have to know. open a cookbook and learn because that's not a good thing. Alia, please. Er, Dad, you know how to cook and clean. That's for me. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, okay. 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 No, no, you can't, you can't. Like, there are many men who don't know how to cook. But that's not a good thing. Cause, to be honest, when I got married to Dad, I didn't ask him how to cook. Well, the whole point of dating is to be transparent, open up, and disclose information. Because with me, if I'm eight months pregnant and my husband doesn't know how to cook, stop so I need stuff. Or, for example, God forbid, I'm injured, can't move, can't cook and clean, then I have to rely on a Mail the can cookie clean, so it basically starve or all the food. Most of them they know how to cook because not all their mothers they teach their son how to cook. For me, for me, I don't care if someone know how to cook, but to, you need to be willing to learn how to cook. You know. Okay, when I ask you guys, can I cook with you? You guys say no. Why? You don't even know how to cook. Yeah, I ask you guys, can I cook with you? Yeah, you can. When I say, when you ask me, can I cook with you? I mean, yeah, you told me to clean. That's how I, yeah, because that's how yeah. I learned. For cleaning and being around mom, that's, that's how I learned yeah. to cook. No, you do you want me to, so I don't want you to put true. trash in the food and everybody has to eat. No, you don't even have to do it. And Aaron, let's be honest, yeah, you, you mainly say that when we cook good food and you want to yeah. like taste it. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> when I make normal pasta, you don't even say that. But when I'm making chips and nuggets, you're all around me. But it's alright, you're, you're still, still it's alright, you're still young. Yeah. You've got time to learn how to cook. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. You're cooking clean. Guys, you know what? Don't put it in your mind. That maybe you don't get a guy who know how to cook. You know what I'm saying? Maybe some guys, actually, some guys don't know how to cook. Who said guys don't know how to cook? Out of 100, excuse time. me, yeah. 100 percent of a guy who doesn't know how to cook, maybe it should be 20 who know how to cook. 80 who know how to cook. No, now they are seeing no, 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 no for them to cook, they go outside and get food. True. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that, that's one thing. If you, if, you got, me, if you got, if you got married to a guy who don't know how to cook, the best thing you have to do. Teach. Have to teach. So another thing I think we have to improve in this family is that we have to listen before we speak. Mm -hmm. Very important. I see that a lot of you don't listen before you speak. That is we are. That is where we get the problem, the argument, that and that. Yeah, okay. you should understand. Exactly. Like just now, I said something <laughs> and everyone was like, I can't. I didn't even say you don't clean. I just said the labeling is not good. I did that and it's dangerous as well. But I feel like mom is doing for your benefit because mom knows that in the future. Yeah, well, that benefit is beneficial, but it won't benefit of Yeah. We need to think about everyone, not just a specific person. When we're thinking about this family, we don't think about the words. Everyone, I'm saying everyone. Okay. Actually, the woman just said, and she's right, listen before you speak. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You may get it wrong if you don't listen. You may, you may be doing other things. You know what I'm saying? And that, is the, that is the other key point. Okay. Can I, can, I, can I add something? Mom, can you please elaborate on when you said um, uh, listen before speaking? Because I think, I think everyone's like, um, everyone's speaking in different ways. For example, you see, when everyone is talking, eh, sometimes if somebody brings out a discussion, instead of you to do on that particular stuff we are saying, people will be saying all that stuff. You just because you didn't listen, then you are saying all that stuff. That's right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we did that sometimes. Yes. Most of the time. Yeah. And sometimes. Maybe because you are passionate about the topic. Eh? Maybe because I feel like because we know patients, like for example, just now everyone's who talk to talk, um, talk on top of each other, but we resist each other because we said we're going to learn from the last session. But you, you can tell like we are struggling. Because for example, let's say that I'm speaking, I want to speak because I want to like get my point straight out, but I just feel like we don't have to be patient, yeah. And then I always tend to do the same thing purely because I always think oh I'm gonna forget so let me just spit my point out which is not right to do 
I feel like um, just because you're older and you live more than I live doesn't mean you're right. And I don't have to listen to you just because you're older than me. Like I think example. it's good to listen to anybody and everyone. Just and you saying you should listen to me because I'm older than you and I live more than you doesn't make you wiser. And I also want to add something to this. I don't like how people have said, "Oh, you should respect your orders." I feel like if you wanna, if you wanna have respect, you have to respect us too. Mm-hmm. No, I, I don't think it's that. I think, I think respect is. is earned. Okay? Yeah. And as an older person, if you're older, I feel like respect naturally flows when you're older than me because you earned my respect because you've lived longer than me, so you're supposed to be wiser. Like most of the people that I respect that are older than me is because they're wiser than me. So then of course I'm gonna naturally respect you. But only because you but if you're older than me and you're not wiser than me, you've lost my respect. So okay, I do agree with what you said from like some ex- uh, extent. Mm-hmm. But if for example Stephanie, she's older than you, the way you speak to Stephanie should be different the way the way you speak to you. For example, Sylvia mm. or Michelle. Speed. Because she at the end of the day she's older than you and yeah. you still need to like give that respect mm-hmm. to her. Cause if mom isn't around, who's gonna be the next mom? Stephanie. So you should definitely provide that respect. Stephanie isn't around, who's gonna be the next mom? Me. So you should definitely provide that respect. Yeah, only if you're uh, wise. If you're older than me. And you're not Daddy, wise. You, no, no, can I yeah, speak? Let me speak. Wait, you go. No, no. You no, no, no. Don't speak something that doesn't no, make yeah, sense. Yeah, don't speak something that doesn't make sense. Can you? I we are here. We're no, no, no. no, no me and Stephanie are wise. We're not yeah, talking no. about external. This no, is I'm therapy. not talking about. about I'm not talking about exter- external. No, I'm just saying. What is the definition of wise for you? Because a wise person is something who, someone who speaks sense, someone who makes sense when they speak. Yes. They give you a reason. They don't say, "You need to do this because of this." God. God told us to do certain things for a reason, or not do certain things for a reason. Just like, you know, the biggest thing that he tells people to do and most people break is you shouldn't um, sleep with a person before you get married. Why? So ties. He didn't say it. You shouldn't sleep with a person before you get married because I said so. He didn't okay. say it because I said so. I don't, I don't like because I said so at all. I don't like it. So when someone says to me, because I'm older than you, because that's the rule. That doesn't make sense. So to you're basically no. To I'm, say not, I'm not. I'm not done speaking. I'm not. I'm. I didn't say that. What that's what you're trying to say. No, 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 now, it's not only father, it's not only mother, it's not only father or mother, you also go to the elders. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If you talk about respect, honor, honor me respect, you have to respect your elder ones. No matter what happened, no matter everything. That respect are to give to the other ones. Whether the other one is talking out of point or he doesn't mature in uh, his brain or what anything you guys can say, but that respect at the feast. Yeah. It's not human that said it. It's God that said it. 100%. You get what I'm saying? That is the 100%. Before you can you can say any other thing, that respect has to be feast. Yeah. To be a senior. It's not a, a job, it's ordained by God. Excuse me, it's ordained by God. You get what I'm saying? So, when God ordained you to be a header in the family or a header of your sister or your brother, that respect has to be to that person. Yeah, um, I definitely agree with the word that said. So, we being the eldest is not an easy job because you, if anything happens and Mom and dad wasn't uh, around. Who who's mom not gonna blame? Stephanie. Oh Stephanie's around. Who's mom gonna blame? Me. So we get blamed and we what then so no, if you're not around. If you're not around, you go to Yeah, and so on. We do we do uh, get all this pressure and therefore we we will be rewarded with respect from the young people. And also yeah, like but I said, I'm not going to respect for the people now. 
not who are not wise. Sometimes I say to that rubbish face, I'm not wise. Only because one cannot be wise, all the respect that's No one said that. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. Being wise is a consistent thing. It's not one time I'm wise. Yeah, you, time, so that's not no, being wise means like you have to be perfect. No. No mistakes. What? That's not like, Okay, I don't know what a okay, wise person that's is. That's what says. Can you give me a, a definition of wise? Because I don't have. Be, I'm not a dictionary. I'm sorry. No, because, but I, can, no, I can give you my the way definition. The way Ali is I don't give respect to people who are not intelligent. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense. Why is it intelligent? It's not the same thing. No, okay. why is it intelligent for me? It's the same thing. Either way, let same. me give you an example since you're dying for an example. No, I'm no, no, I'll give you an example. Not just for no, me, no, no, for no, 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 Exactly. No, I'll, I'll give you an example. Every time you talk to so, me, you always raise your voice. Yeah, because you speak, you talk no, often, don't. Stephanie. That's, I don't. Okay, let me give you an example of a wise person, okay? Jesus. He came out of nowhere. Nobody had respect for him, right? Because nobody knew who he was, he was just talking. And then, after he was preaching and he showed that he was a wise person and he died for our sins, of course, billions of people respect and follow him, right? Mm -hmm. That's yeah, a, it right? Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have the pastor. The pastor preaches and then people respect the pastor. Teachers. Teachers, there's like two types of teachers, by the way. There's that one teacher that nobody in the school respects, and then there's a teacher that everybody respects, right? Am I wrong or am I right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yes, there is. I said, yeah. Oh, that's good. Know. Okay, so then there's that one teacher who earns the respect from the pupils. They don't have to be, oh, because I'm the teacher, you would listen to me. And then there's the, other te there's the other teacher who acts like I'm the teacher, so you have to listen to me. But like, you don't give us a reason to why we have to respect you. Of course people are not going to respect the person because they don't give them a reason why or show them a reason why they should respect. So what's your I'm point? I'm saying, my point is, just because you're older doesn't mean that people need to respect you. You need to earn that respect. For example, let's say your parents is no wise, so you don't, you can't... No, That's because different. my parents are wise. No, I'm my saying, are wise. Like, there's example people... No, no uh, example, because... Yeah, no, no, that's the same. 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 it goes by name. It's not just why. It no, goes by name no, as well. Goes, so, okay, what you say it doesn't make sense. Yes, it does because it does. Right. We don't teach you like we don't teach you, like, don't teach you. but it I does feel make like, sense. But like with the elders, I don't think. So. I think no, I does. feel like if older people want respect, you have to give the youngest respect. Now you talk about Jesus. Definitely, you talk about Jesus, which is a good example. But how many people have respected Jesus of all the world? You have done. Listen, respect doesn't mean you are, you are so intelligent or you come from somewhere. Respect is a respect to, to a senior. You have to get it to authority. Okay. Goes you know by name. Listen to me. Respect who senior you. I got him what you said. Uh, the, the senior had to respect the junior, the junior had to respect the senior. Wait, wait, wait. I think what we should say is that. Listen, it makes sense in a different way. You know what I'm saying? You have to first, you have to respect your senior. They are the people. That come first. You respect them. When you don't respect them, you are not respecting God as a Christian. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, well, the, the God, I God has said it. You have put that law. You have said, whether the, the senior one does something he doesn't like. You see what I mean? But that respect is fixed by God. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You have to do it. It's a task. You have to pay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't ever raise your voice. On top of your, on top, on top of your senior one, that's what I see in this, in this, in this, in this life we are living. That's what many people are lack of, because how to be a boss. Yeah. They, they, they respect your senior, then you will never be a boss. And yeah. so, I, I, about that, what you said about the teacher, this is that, 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 that. that. When you are, those one is scrap. Also, I'm going to the point where you said the teachers and the police people don't respect. The police more than they respect the teachers. People fear the police more than they fear teachers, guys. It's not nothing Fear to do with, comes with, with respect. respect. That's so what you say, Aaliyah. 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 So you're scared of God? Of course. Yes. You're scared of God. Of course. That's sad. Of course, fear I'm of God, God and it's being scared of God. Of course, two different things. no. It's two different things. You need to fear God in order to respect. No, no. Like, no. And then go back to your Bible. I please. promise you. Next. Oh, God. See, what are you saying, So you need to be terrified. The fear of God. I don't. I don't think you know what the fear of God means. I don't think you know what the fear of God means. Listen, do you know what the Bible says? Yes, I do know what the Bible says. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. You know what And that's not what it means. Oh, what you're saying? So I need to tremble. Why are you raising your voice? Please, please quiet. If you don't have anything to say, guys, yeah, that's being sad. scared to commit sins, of course. 
That's so the, the fear, fear of God, God is the beginning of what? Uh, so you guys don't know beginning what the fear of, of God means. Them. That's concerning. Guys, the fear, of, the fear, of, fear of, of God does not mean being scared of God. I hope it you know means, that. Uh, yeah. It's having respect. For God, it's not be scared of God. Yes, here comes with respect. No, it does not. So yes, I'm scared of police. I think that's what Leah's saying. Uh, scared as in like, okay, so why you respect like, like, you know, like, you should be, of, you should be speak. You know how like that's some not. people are scared of like how the real angels look like. That's what Ali is talking about. So you're, I'm you're not scared to commit sins. Okay, that's not what a fear of God means. That's my guys. The respect to commit sins is you the Exodus Moses. Moses was a man. No, you don't know the Bible. I don't think you do. Uh, I don't Moses know. was a man eh, of God that God spoke to. If God appeared to me Moses, you know, he still had that fear. You know what I mean? He gripped his heart. He still had that fear. Even uh, David. The Bible said, David is a man after God's heart. See how the fear of God. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, let me do that because I feel like. And then why? Why do guys think so? There are certain things that we want to commit, yeah, but we're too scared to commit that. Why? It's not conviction. It's not being scared to commit. This is what don't let English take out your brain. I'm not letting English. I'm just telling you. For me, I have the fear of God. A fear of God can, can <laughs> take you out of sin. So you're scared of God, Dad? Yeah. I'm not scared of fear of God. I have a fear. Yeah, that's what I'm I just saying. I'm not scared. scared. The whole time, I'm not scared of fear. Being, I'm, I'm, not scared. I'm afraid of God. I'm scared of God. I don't. I don't. I think yeah, you're scared of committing sins because you yes. have that respect. Yeah, yeah, no that was, God. Yeah, so let's so say that Jesus comes today. Don't change English, please. I don't know, uh, say things about Bible. You understand know I me? Mean? Because I don't know where you are going. I don't know where you are coming from. I'm sorry. What did I told you is that. Fear of God, I go to the Bible, is the beginning of wisdom. I know that. You can say, it said that a, a man who said there is no God, eh? it's, not, it's not worthy to live on earth. But that has nothing you to get, do with what I said. Saying. So that is, uh, please, let's go to another topic. Okay. I, just want to, I just want to reply yes or no. Okay, Alia, if God came today in front of you, what would you do? Hi God, how's the day? Or would you, you be scared? Would I even know if that's God? Would I know no, but you wouldn't come if it was like it's a spirit, Stephanie. Alia, answer a question. Don't let go around. That's your issue. Every time I'm, on, I'm trying to answer a question, you don't no, reply. go on. Tell me, tell me. I'm just saying, if God came today, right now, what would be a reaction? I don't know because he hasn't. No, he you know the reaction. You know I I will, Why would I be scared you of my own? Can, can I answer? answer? I'll be extremely scared. You know why? Because I wouldn't know if I uh, will uh, well, hell. What happened? Exactly. Because yeah, of my actions. Actually, 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 let me tell you one thing, guys. God cannot come to you. Exactly. That, that's no, no, that's the example. Exactly. 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 Because I go to the Bible, you say no man on earth can see. see God. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's not an angel. Angel can come to you, you'll be scared. You'll be scared. What do you mean? You'll be scared. Even though you're an angel. If I say you're angel. No, the angel is not God. Listen, it's if it's I, it's if a, I, if I, I'm not scared of the dark. How can you not be scared? If I say you're an angel, by 2 o'clock midnight, you cannot even pass that door. Okay, but I'm, uh, how does if, me passing the door have anything to do with me being scared of God? Be, I'm not scared of God, guys. I'm not scared of God. I cannot be scared of God. He created me. How can I be scared of my creator? That's, that's, that's not a good You're saying that's all in line. It does. Ali is saying this in a line. It does. Okay. You have to be saying. Everyone, a true Christian. Fear of, of God means submitting to God. And when you when you sin, you feel that guilt. Okay, I'm, I'm not. I'm not here. trembling because be God exists. In he said. Every, he said a fear of God doesn't contribute with a submission. You said you're, you're scared saying of God. Doesn't make sense. You said you're scared of Next. God. Why are you scared Next of God? Why did he Next. do to you? You Next. make no sense. Why are you scared? No, what you're saying doesn't align. Why are you scared of God? Did you not listen to what I said? No, tell me. Why are you scared because of God? Because I'm scared of the sins. So why do you think we reduce the sins? But that's not my answer. try that's to not... prevent um, committing the sins because of the fear No, because have. Yeah, I'm I'm sure. Sure. I think I have to stop paying the next week. Like, I, I fear mom and dad but I don't look at mom and dad be like, oh, I'm scared. Mm. So now I will, come, I will, I will come, I will come here about this. You know, if you say that you are not fear of God, you, know? you don't have the fear of God. You have the fear of your father, as an example, or your mom. If your mom said do this things, you no, know? then unfortunately you didn't do it. So we come or I will come. You be mad at me? Yeah. Now because. 
still do it. Mm. But if you do it, you know that that you have a, you have a fear of me of doing it. You see me? How much God himself that creates heaven and earth that can you cannot even see that we come. That, that, excuse me. That we come with, with your power. You get what I'm saying? For me, as a father, I don't know where you are reading your Bible. As for me, as a as a as your father, and I I know this about the Bible. You see me? I fear God. Right now, in my opinion, I don't think I is being wise. Does everyone agree? Yes or no? Some people yeah. agree. So, because Ali has not been wise, Michelle and Sylvia and A, we should lose respect of Aliyah. See, like, things that you're saying, Aliyah, it doesn't make sense. It contradicts what you're saying. I feel like, as I said, as I said before, we're not perfect. Sometimes, most of the times, I'm not wise. Most of the time, when they say you're not wise, and most of the time, mom and dad make mistakes. Does it mean that we have to lose respect because we're not wise? We're not God. We're not perfect. We're sinners. We should, we should we earn respect because we're older than you. Mom and dad, they're older than us because they've been through a lot of things. I've been through a lot of things that you haven't been through. But they said been through a lot of things you haven't been through. So yeah, respect comes with position. Orders. Yes, not because position. Of, not saying, because of what you said. 24-7. Right? I said, I respect people who are wiser than me. Mom and dad are wiser than me. Of course I'm going to respect mom and dad. No question. I have not seen any different since uh, last, uh, last week. You guys still come back at the same. So, the we will see if there is going to be improvement in session for you. Yeah. I feel like it should start improving as the sessions go by. Like, like, I talk, feel like I'm better for the first session. Hey! <laughs>